Hi guys, so today, you know, I did get in, I guess, the rest of the things that I had ordered from HSN um, from Craft Day, but kind of not really. Some of these things are auto ships and um, I think only one of them actually. And maybe there's still some things in extended delivery. I don't know why a lot of times with HSN they do that immediately so that people don't really just buy everything up. They At least they used to. They'll put extended delivery when they had just posted it. And then the next day it'll still ship or it'll ship with everything else or once the person demos it on the, you know, uh, Craft Day. Um, they released it, so I don't know what happened. So obviously they weren't getting their shipments in probably because it was, it was like across the board, except for maybe the Anna Griffin stuff. Mostly that was in. And people always ask me, so I just want to say at the top, about coupons. Unfortunately, there was a coupon yesterday that expired. It was only on Tuesdays because a lot of times HSN does that for card holders or, or for the whole site. So when they offer a coupon, I never know if it's specific to me or if it's for everybody. Because even if it looks generic, when I log in at the top, it'll say like, $10 off whatever, or $10 off 10, which is basically a free 10 bucks. Um, if I try to use it like on my husband's account, it won't work. So if they offer it to you and you log in, cause you have an HSN, you know, you buy on HSN, not a credit card, but just buying on there, they'll offer you the card. They'll email it to you, or not the card, the <laughs> discount code. They'll email it to you or they'll put it at the top of your screen there. Um, so please, I know, cause people ask me all the time, how do you get these coupons? I, I don't know, <laughs> because like I said, sometimes they'll, they'll be generic, everyone can use them, but most of the time it's been real particular, even though the code is, you know, I'm sure maybe tens of thousands of people get that same code, but not everybody got that same code, okay? So it has to be particular to you. So um, on some occasions, and sometimes it's everybody. I, I don't know, I don't work there, so <laughs> I have no idea how they do that or plan that, but I do know that it doesn't always work for everybody. So I can't really just give you codes and say, Try this, you know, because it's just probably not going to work. Um, and then sometimes they give them to you for having their credit card. And uh, so that was that. So that ended yesterday. And actually, um, I did want to mention, oh, I should show you guys. Uh, let me go grab okay, my so phone. If you go to hsn.com right now and look up Diamond Press or just put Diamond Press Shaker or something like that. Um, they have their kit. So remember last year, I think it was last like April or May. I don't know. I was having water damage trouble, right? So my kitchen was gutted and remodeled. And so was this craft room. Um and uh, I missed their little shaker kit. So it was like a auto delivery for the, or auto ship for the shakers. They are in right now. So I went ahead and picked up all the ones I didn't have, which were basically this something splendid shaker that makes like a little gumball machine. So it's hard to tell what this is supposed to be on this one. But if you go back and go to, you know, like YouTube and say HSN diamond press shaker, um, you'll see from a year ago the video and then you'll see what they're supposed to look like um, because they don't have examples but they might demo them I don't know because they're on here right now but I went ahead and bought all three of them with the coupon because that was basically free shipping um, that they had yesterday so we have the Dime Press something splendid like I said it makes like a little fish tank and like a gumball um, machine or yeah and what else one other uh, one other thing I don't remember because it's hard for me to tell here. Um, and then they have the fall harvest loan, which makes like a little acorn, a little leaf, like little shaker. And these are small. These are like little items that you would put on a card. It's like about this big. Um, and then the celebration kit, which is the one I was really looking forward to because it has like a little party hat, a little cupcake, and um, one other, a gift. Oh, and a balloon. Ooh, there's lots of things on that one. So I went ahead and grabbed those, and I just wanted to show them to you in case you missed out on them last year, too, and might miss out on them again this year, you never know. So uh, those are available already. Uh, keep an eye out um, for my reviews, because they'll be coming in. And then um, one last thing is you guys always ask me recently, and I guess because I have a lot of new viewers, about this mat, and it is the Diamond Press stamping mat, and um, it got a little stain here because I used Sharpie markers here, and... Um, I, if I had uh, taken care of it probably quicker, like with some alcohol, it probably would have come out more, but I waited like until the next day to try to even try to get it off of there. And then I have some uh, ink here that I should just wipe down. But um, this, okay, so that's HSN. This is available on mydiamondpress.com. And if you use my affiliate code VCDP, you will get 12% off. Actually, I'm only a few people away from 13% off. So by the time you go check, it might be 13% off because <laughs> uh, Diamond Press is uh, going to change the percentage off as my viewership grows, which is really a fun thing for them to have offered. So um, it might be 12, might be 13%. And I guess it depends on when you're watching this, it could be more. Um, off your uh, your order, anything you order, and they always have free shipping every day. And this thing is relatively inexpensive and it does really help me stamp. Like I told you guys when I had moved it the other day, I went to stamp some, I was like, ooh, it didn't come out as good because I'm used to having it under here and it's just silicone. And it just gives that little bounce back that your stamps come out really nice when you go to use them. So.
that is that. Oh, and it's an affiliate link, so I do make a small commission if you were to use that code, okay? Full disclosure. So, HSN. <laughs> These items just came in. I just had a little housekeeping to take care of. What is this? Oh, okay. I thought this was still on back order. Um, so I did not get the mixer. I don't even think I ordered it. Everyone's like dying for the mixer, but it's really cute. But I thought, really, how many cards or things am I going to send out with that? Or even this one, but I thought this was actually really cute because Sarah had cut it out of fabric and that looked really adorable. And then um, what's funny about this one is it was called like apron for him or something shaped card for him. And I'm like, really? So anyway, um, you can put like little garden tools in there and then there's like um, baking implements right and then we have the uh stamps that go along with it. i think the only one that has a stamp that goes with it though is the whisk everything else when you cut it you have to like ink it or distress it or use a certain you know like metal or shiny um stuff to make it look right because there's no stamp that goes along with it so i will definitely review these because they're adorable coming up here um oh so this was the auto ship for LDRS, which is super cute for their um, cards, I guess. There wasn't a pop-up on this one. It was this guy. So I don't know what happened, but a couple months ago or whenever it was, a month ago, they told me it was going to be basically late and late and late. <laughs> Actually, I think it was over a month ago. So it finally got here, and this is the one I was just, like, dying for. So cute. The Mermaid Cove. So look at all of these stamps. And I already have the review on the first one, which was, like, the something chalet, fairy chalet or something like that. It was, like, a teapot that they live in. It has little windows. Super cute. And I showed you guys how to just ink up this whole thing at once. Don't even take them off of here because, I mean, look at these tiny things. I just inked up the whole thing, right, on the carrier, ink it up, get your paper, smash it down, and then uh, when you lift it up, you can still color on that same paper, or they're all on one, you know, sheet, color what you like, leave what you don't, and then, um, and then you just take your little tiny dies and put them where they need to be, because these are far enough apart that you can cut them out all at the same time, um, or you know, if you don't want to, do a few at a time, put your dies, cut it out, put dies on the other ones, cut it out, but I basically put them all over this uh, on my paper that I had colored and it worked out really great and really quickly so um really cute and so this one's a seashell they live in isn't that adorable oh my gosh you guys and then you can put your little um dies where is it this one the big die this whole die the larger one when you place it on here will cut the different little apertures open for you so that you can use them like kind of interactive and then um this one also has for like the different little items that are in here with the seashell home so this is called mermaid cove seashell home ldrs is i think little darling rubber stamp if i'm not <laughs> mistaken seashell home coordinated eyes mermaid cove coordinating dies and then it has a cute little you octopi my thoughts card oh that's so cute and that's a really cute way to use it if you don't want to go all out because it does take some time even you know doing the tip i showed or told you guys about it's going to be coloring and all that stuff is kind of intensive. So this is really cute because it's just like a little scenery in the back there. So cute ideas. I love that it has an idea sheet. This is more of a basic way you use it. Oh, look at the little pennant, the little banner. That's adorable. It has seashells. <laughs> That's really cute. And this one, she's pulling like little urchins, like balloons. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. So I will review this and maybe I, I don't know if I'm going to go all out. I love the little houses. I mean, that's why I bought it. Ocean's Love card and then the Hello card. This is just another basic... But we'll see. I mean, we'll see what we do with it. Only because the last time I did do the, the whole shebang and it takes some time. Okay, so there are only a couple other things. And um, let's see here. Okay, good. I was like, can I review something in this video? Because obviously it's not going to be super long. I, you know, I know and I hear from a lot of you guys. We did not go all out on craft day. Some people didn't even watch it because of the shipping issues or not issues. They're just going to charge shipping. So I guess that is an issue. <laughs> it's a big issue. Um, and then the shipping just keeps stacking and stacking. So I understand that. And um, that's what uh, some of the gals here were telling me that in the Facebook, I think, chats. People are saying just order one thing every day or every other day. So that way they <laughs> have to send them separately. Uh, get your shipping's worth, right? Um, and so that's why now, you know, it's better to just hold on to them and you can get a, a coupon and that'd be great. This one looks a lot like the other one that I reviewed when I got these borders, but I don't think it is. I think this one's slightly different. Right? I can check from the last um, border. So, so these are the edibles that had an auto ship that goes with it. And so, of course, I really wanted to see this rose. Again, <laughs> if you're going to do the rose the way they show here, you have the paper piece. I think the thing's back in. Um... I will see about that. That's kind of odd. Okay, so, and then the little, but the hearts, the hearts are so cute, I love that. So really cute. 
These are not, oh, that's why, you know why? That's what it is. Okay, so the other one was a double-sided edibles. <laughs> so these are just regular edibles. That's why I was like, this one looks really familiar. So I had a feeling this design might be exactly the same from the double-sided, which is kind of a bummer. Okay, we'll see. Let me put these to the side for a minute and I'll think about what I want to do with that. And then um, I might just cut out a couple of those just to kind of have an idea. Yeah, I totally misinterpreted that. Okay, and this is the other one. So this one was on uh, extended delivery, but obviously it's here now. The uh, Home Tweet Home Create a Card. So I will definitely do this one because I love things like this. This is really cute. I already made like a three-dimensional birdhouse with their um, Ultimate Pro uh, template sets. But uh, this one's a little bit different, obviously. And flat. And when it says create a card, it doesn't really create a card. You still have to make your hinge on your own, right? However you want it. But we'll talk about that. And then this one comes with like little alphabets and some other cute items. Um, I was gonna say, where do you do the alphabet? There it is, there's a little square die, so that's how they did this little banner. That's cute. Aw. Okay, so let me get some paper together and we'll cut out some of these okay. edibles. So I'm looking at this rose and... <laughs> um, so Sarah did do a show on these guys. And I believe, I don't remember if she paper pieced back into it or just had examples. So if you look at this and you're like, how do they do this? Because this is not gonna happen. Your edible is gonna cut out everything. So it's just gonna be like a, like a edging, you know, left of the rose there. There's a piece of acetate behind here. I don't know if you can see really close. Oh, sorry. There, you can kind of see this piece of acetate here. So you're gonna put that behind, or obviously. And you know, just maybe the width of your card or whatever, obviously the depth of your card at the front. Glue it down, and then you're gonna cut out red paper with the same die. You're gonna cut out green paper with the same die, or just white paper, uh, or the pieces that came out of here. But you're gonna have to ink them up and then put them back in individually. Now, people have patience for that. I do not, because look at, I mean, look how small some of these things are. So let me show you what this is gonna do, and then, um, and then a couple ways to, to do something similar. Um, I want to see how wide this thing was, because I don't know if it's gonna go through the junior. Let me see. It says on the outside six point, ooh, sorry guys, 6.2, and it is, but that means if I have a card, Oh well, maybe this bottom part's gonna be cut off. Um, so you probably want a taller card, but I'm not gonna make some funky size just for that. So I'm still gonna cut this eight and a half by 11 piece of paper right in half, so at five and a half. And give it a quick score. Not that that matters right now, but I'd rather score it now before anything gets cut off than later. So then, um, so four and a quarter. And that's just so I know, obviously, where my halfway mark is. And I'll do the same on this one, because I'm going to do two different things. On this one, I want to show you two different examples of what I'm talking about. And... Oh, this is funny. Let's see if it works. Um, you guys know I ripped my metallic... Not metallic, my... Um, what's that thing called? Uh, magnetic mat the other day when they got when the machine got stuck and I actually have both pieces I could probably put them together but I'm just gonna use this and hopefully it'll still give it enough pressure to cut I'm not gonna put this near my um, die yet which is funny because I am gonna use this but not quite yet sorry my husband was supposed to ride his bike to work and he decided not to so I'm like you're gonna be here so somebody has to come pick him up because he rode his bike home and I'm talking about a road bike I'm not talking about like oh he's just riding a bike for fun he tries to go really fast, right? It's kind of dangerous, but whatever. So I have my card base here. And so I told him, like, you're gonna ruin my morning because, um, yeah, you guys see these little things? Uh, let me see if it'll, it might not go through this. What do I have here? Um, uh, all right, I'm gonna try it <laughs> because there's more clearance, obviously, in the machine. But if you're gonna do this, I mean, it's a little bit, a little bit dangerous, okay. So I'm putting it right on the very edge because I want to keep as much of my card as I can. Obviously, this is a smaller card. If you're going to go with a larger card, you're going to have to use your Empress or your regular Gemini, a large Gemini, because you can't do much more than that. I'm going to put this piece back here. I low-tech tape. That's not so low-tech. But and a little piece here just to keep this thing from really moving. And again, um, I damaged my magnetic mat 
I don't have, well, I don't have it in one piece here. I do have a, a spare, but I totally forgot to pick it up, so that's fine. I'm gonna put the, the metal shim, the plastic, and this guy, and hopefully that'll be enough pressure to cut. <clears throat> oh my gosh, this is so scary. There it goes. Obviously it's gonna go. I don't know if it's gonna <laughs> cut. So this is just doing this like regular, you know. Oh yeah, well, it looks like it cut, I don't know. Eh, I need a little bit more. So I'm gonna run it one more time and then what I'm gonna do is add another shim of like paper. Just need a little more thickness. So I'm gonna do this. And then when I mean a shim, that just means, <laughs> actually, ooh, is this too thick? Maybe I should put this guy in. Let's see what happens. That's just a double-sided plate for when you use a double-sided die. Let's see if it wants to take it. So that definitely sounds tighter. <laughs> Let's see. Um, and then I have larger magnetic shims, and I would not ever cut them down from my Gemini. I have two sets of those I've never used, really. And then I uh, hear from you guys that what you do is you use um, like swamp cooler cover. Oh, that worked perfect. All right, so there it is. Another use for this thing because I hardly ever use them anyway. Um, those color, those vent covers from that are swamp cooler, like magnetic kind of stuff. That's what people say they cut down. And I bet you anything, you can probably cut down one of those carriers that you can get from Crafters Companion for your. Uh, sorry, for um, your storage binders. Okay, I'm just gonna take this off very carefully. <laughs> so I want you to see how thin this is. So this isn't really something I think I would do and leave it like this. Obviously we're gonna have to back it up with like another piece of paper, right? To here, it's really pretty. I mean, it's gorgeous. Look how tender that is and pretty, but you would definitely need to put a piece of paper behind it. And then, you know, I mean, that's cute. There you go. Let me trim this paper down to show you how that looks. Uh, and then we'll talk about these extra pieces. Okay, so this piece of paper is just under four inches deep because I don't want it to make it four and a quarter. I mean, sorry, just under four and a quarter inches deep. Because if I make it four and a quarter and I butt it in here, it might stick out further than you want because you know, that little crease there, it kind of butts it out. So this is like four and an eighth, okay? <laughs> and so all I'm gonna do is, actually I'm gonna take my glue. I'll take this one to make it quicker and then this other piece obviously needs to be held down much better. So I'm gonna come in here and get glue pretty much everywhere. You don't want this to lift up and then kind of be problematic. And I'm gonna take my little fine glue here and just run it around the edges. And if you really wanted to, I guess, have some motion, you don't have to glue this down. You can just kind of let them stick up. But you know, when you put in the envelope or when the, your recipient takes it out, um, you don't want it to catch. So I rather glue it down. And then this very tip here, I think that's good. I'm gonna bring this in here. And I'm kind of lining it up with the edge of this because that's where you want it to be, right? Your card base to be exactly the same. Then I'll lay this down. So I'm just gonna lay this down, smooth this out for a little bit, and I will be right back. So I don't get glue all over the place, but I'm just gonna hold this down. Okay, so even with all the piecing, I think that's really pretty, actually. I was just kind of curious about how it might look, but I think that's gorgeous. And then, you know, if you have a sentiment or you have other stamping or, um, oh, that word stamp from a uh, local king would be really pretty, just kind of on here, kind of delicate, and then your sentiment, or just not something. Well, I think you need something. Obviously, it's very bare over here, um, but there's that. So what you're supposed to do is take these little pieces and kind of color them in and then come back and find where they came from, <laughs> right? So like this one here, if you were going to peek. Uh, color them and then piece them back in so it's not super difficult but I mean you have to collect every little piece and then just pop them back in the leaves are probably easier because those are cut out in sections so there's eight of those you can find easily they are all in here <laughs> <Bill is. laughs> so that's how you would do that you know take your pieces that make sense color them and then pop them back I think this one came from here 
So the leaves are definitely easier. Maybe you should do the leaves and then leave the rose pink at the top. You know what I'm saying? Because that would be a lot easier. Obviously there's different ways to use this. So that's really fun. My other idea was what would be cool, or I thought would be cool, we'll see, is go ahead and put this on here. Obviously, we're going to put this on the edge here. Um, I'm trying to get it right there because this is a longer stem down here. Um, and no, I do want another piece of tape. I was like, ah, do I tape it? This is going to be kind of tough. We'll see what happens. Okay. We have our guy. I'm going to take the rubber mat, put this guy on here, and then that guy. I think I don't want super a lot of pressure. Let me see how it does with just these. I'm not trying to cut it. I'm trying to indent the rows into that area. See what happens. That's crazy. Okay. So that's kind of what I wanted to do. Hopefully I, you can't see. It's just kind of embossed, but what's, I never really use my Gemini for embossing because I feel like it doesn't do the best job in the world, but um, hopefully you just trust me. So what I'm going to do is grab some inks and I'll so right show back. you in the back is that it's not completely cut out. It's not cut out at all. <laughs> kind of, but not too much. Um, okay. I started chatting about it and I forgot to get my inks. Um, let me... Use grasshopper. And so, okay, if you're gonna do this and you want to keep this edge, then you wanna be careful with what you're gonna do here. But um, other than that, I'm just gonna squeeze this in here and I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So when I get to the edge here, if I wanna be careful, cause I'm gonna keep this white piece of paper, then I'm just gonna pinch this down and make it a little bit smaller. Well, that's particular to this magic mushroom. If you're using something else, obviously it will work differently. And I'm just being kind of careful with it. You don't have to be too careful, but actually I'm gonna add a little bit just to give a little green around the edges there. And then, um, Let's use this fuchsia water reactive. So that was grasshopper, grasshopper water reactive ink and now I'm gonna use fuchsia and go into this flower part on the top. If you want to be more stencily like I did on the leaves, be a little more gentle so that way the color kind of goes this way and that way. And this is still in your card and still very pretty. And now it's colored and you can still, you know, do whatever you're going to do over here. So does that make sense? Hopefully you guys can see that. And you can also come in and maybe change up your stem and make it green, the little stem part right here, because there's no, uh, what's it called? You don't get to the stem through this, but it's just another idea. And then if you really wanted to, this is already kind of trimmed, like cut. If you want to come in and just cut around here, it'd probably be really easy to just get rid of it. So just another idea. I thought something kind of quick and easy that still gives you the effect of that rose there. So that's it guys. I just want to try that out for you. Um, the rest of them, obviously, you know, you'd cut out your bubbles. They're just going to cut on the edge, your, um, hearts again and then just line it in the back like we did with this one with the hearts i think that would be probably the easiest way to use that and be careful with these things they always stick to me i never see them because these carriers are just sitting around once you take the dies off and they stick to the back of my card almost invariably every time so two different ways to do it thanks for watching guys i will see you guys in the next one hopefully everyone's doing well and staying safe and um just you know have a great day um, bye now